Well, hello, welcome back to a very sweaty vlog. I just got home from picking up at this online auction, local auction house was doing an online auction and they have a ton of Pioneer Woman stuff. And some of that stuff can go for really good money. So I've been spending like the past several days researching, you know, figuring out how much I can bid on stuff and my car is packed. <laughs> I got there, it's in a small town. Um, about know, 20 minutes away. And I got there and I realized, number one, I forgot my purse. Driving around with all my license. But they were super nice. They like had a table outside and they were just bringing stuff out for me and then I could load my car. But it was a jigsaw puzzle. Let me show so you. Here's my car and it is packed. The front seat is packed. <laughs> yeah, so what I just did is I brought another banquet table up from the basement and I've got this one. And I'm just gonna try to get it all on here and then it can come out in the garage, get something, take it in, list it. But um, I just loaded this all in, now I gotta take it all out. But a lot of it is brand new. Um, rolling pins especially can be worth a lot of money. So this will definitely be a good project for me that I really wanna work and get it listed quickly so I can make my money back. I spent $800 at this auction so Got to sell it and, and uh, I want to recoup my investment as quickly as possible, obviously, and then start making a profit. Okay, I got everything out of the car. I had one casualty. I opened the door and a bowl fell out. It's over here on the ground, which sucks because this is one of the ones that I think would have done really well. But I have several more. But it's, um, what's the pattern called? Pioneer Woman. I don't know, it's like a lace pattern. So this one, this one fell out, but otherwise... So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take things, like come out, get five things, take them in. Not all of this will be um, on eBay. Some of it I will take to the consignment store. Um, I didn't realize these things were so big, but these can go for big money. Potato, onion, and the garlic. The rolling pins can go for really big money. I'm gonna get those listed first. Um, these, nobody was looking at these Bask. Oh, no, it's got a fucking crack. Oh, sorry, I swear. I swore. That one's cracked up. But that teal one, I just realized this one's cracked. So that stinks. Can't sell that on eBay. I'll put it at our garage sale, maybe. Um, I got these signs. It's because we're cheap. I could put them out the garage sale. This is um, all kinds of, like, Swarovski and... Uh, crystal and things. Um, I got a couple things of flatware, but most of it is um, the Pioneer Woman. I did get this. I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. Obviously needs to be cleaned up, but how cool is that? I just, I don't know. I loved it. So anyway, this will be a great project for me. Like I said, I'm going to take things, like I'm straight away going to go in and get these um, rolling pins listed uh, make sure I have boxes to ship before I list. Although these could ship in the box. They're in the original box. So, yay, how exciting. And it'll keep me very, 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 very busy, which is what I need because I'm starting to have a hard time again. Like if I'm not doing stuff and I'm starting to think about the holidays and I don't want the holidays to come, I'm just going to be awful. So keep super, super busy and get through the holidays like I used to do when I was full-time eBay, that's <laughs> gonna be the plan this year. Taking a break from listing on eBay to process some Etsy sticker shop orders. First is from Polly. She's actually sending this as a gift and she left me a very nice note on eBay, or Etsy, I'm tired, on Etsy. Thank you so much. She's getting, or sending as a gift, the unicorn magnet and the horse um, holographic sticker. Emily in Minnesota is getting one. I can't take it. How cute this is. One of the new pug Halloween stickers. And yes, magnets are coming in this design as well. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. And Erwin in California ordered one of the blue green holographic Halloween stickers. And then Kelly in Utah, another repeat customer. Thank you, Kelly. Uh, she ordered one of the matte purple Halloween stickers, one of the holographic skeleton unicorn. <laughs> what is that? It's a unicorn. Halloween stickers and then the black horse-drawn carriage sticker. Oh my goodness. I am exhausted but I got a, another bunch of stuff listed. I've got a pile downstairs. I'll show you that tomorrow. Um, so it's great. I th think 
there might be a few more things with tags, but mostly this, I think this was all the new stuff. There might be more. I'm so, this was so much stuff, but it's easy to list. So, um, hopefully I can get it all done tomorrow. We'll see. But I just had another Etsy order uh, come in, so let's go pull that. So this order is from Danica in Florida, and she's a repeat customer. Thank you so much, Danica. And she ordered so much. This is a fun order. So first she got the sloth, the new sloth sticker with the donut and, and the sloth magnet, which I need to reorder. She got the new unicorn magnet. She got cat. I feel like everybody that everybody orders cat bat, which is fine because I love him or her. I love the cat bat. She also ordered the entire remaining inventory of the I Break for Antiques sticker. I Break for Antiques stores. Yeesh. Magnets. I've had some of you um, say yes, you do want these, but maybe do black and white next time. And um, the ones for the thrift store. So I will get to that. I. I got a list pioneer woman stuff, but I will eventually get to that. So always let me know like things you want to see. I've got a list I keep. She's getting two of the new uh, black cat Halloween stickers. She's getting one of the anxiety stickers, one of the forever eighties holographic stickers and the last two of these vintage uh, like Pyrex bowl style sticker sheet. So thank you so much, Janica. And of course, I will be tucking freebies in your order. I put freebies in every order. The more you order, the more free stuff you get. It is Thursday and I am out at a garage sale, at least one. It is such a, it is very hard to get out of my house. I pull out and I kind of can push through a little, I live next to a church and they've got the thing blocked off, but I can get through the cones. And then I've got this, I get through the back, but like to get anywhere, I've got to go all the way around, all the way. It's like, hmm, I got to, I don't know. I need to open the roads back up. I mean, I know they're doing road work, but dang. I don't know. Anyway, um, I'm here at this sale. It says huge and that it's full of antiques and vintage. That usually means high price, but we'll see. I don't know how much I can film in here. There's only a couple people here, so it's kind of awkward when usually people are like looking at you and stuff. There's a look at it from the road. And I'm back in the car. Oh my God, the prices are just insane. They don't even ha really have that much. They had advertised dollhouse furniture and they have some, but they've got $10 on everything and other vintage things that I would have picked up if they were a buck or two, but not at those prices. So anyway, um, maybe I'll just drive around a little bit more since I'm already out and see if there's anything else going on. There's usually people just put signs up now um, rather than in the paper because the paper's too expensive and a lot of people cancel their subscriptions and now they it's just a three day a week paper They and it comes in the mail. They've changed the whole thing. So most people don't even advertise. Um, and if they're older, they're not even on Facebook. So I used to just kind of drive around and see if there's any signs. So we'll go and do that and see if we find anything else in this area. Hi boys. Am I home? Yeah. So I stopped at three other garage sales that I didn't film. I bought stuff at two. There wasn't really much out there today, but I did get a couple books. Nice hardcover, doesn't look like it's ever been read. Same with this one, doesn't look like it's ever been read. So I also got one of these for my niece, Sophie. And then I got, oh, I spent 15 on everything. This is a Kate Spade, um, like a laptop bag. So got that. Dog toy, one moment. And then just this little thing, I'll give that to Sophie too. Did mommy bring you home a toy? Let me get the tag off. What is this? It is a dog toy. Who wants to get it? Who wants to get it? Oh, Teddy wants to get it. Teddy says, I take it, Mom. I will have that toy. I will. It's a hedgehog, Mom. It's a hedgehog. Charlie, you better go over there and get that, too. Teddy's got it. Teddy's got it. What are you going to do, Charlie? You going to get the toy, too? You got to get it? Well, on the couch. You guys want to come and sit with me? They want to sit with me, but then they're not. Charlie's acting like he's going to pee in the house. You've been outside three times. Yeah, you have. I see you. Um, Charlie, honey. What are you doing over there? Why don't you come sit down? You've been outside three times. Yeah, you have. You have. Oh. 
Oh boy, you too. I got more of those chicken jerky things, which Charlie is obsessed with. Like he knows where they are and he's like, you need to get up and give me more. You already had one. I break them up into smaller pieces, but. And you, what about you, Teddy? Look at all these pillows and blankets. You guys are in the lap of luxury, huh? Huh? So, um, I actually just had an eBay order come in, the first of the Pioneer Woman stuff, and a couple Etsy orders. But first, I need to edit a chapter of my book. I was like looking at my, you know, work schedule last night. I'm like, you have five books due in November, November 1st. You need to get on that. Now, I'm not writing from scratch, but I update every year. Um, and I need to do four 2024 editions of books that need a lot of updating and editing. And then I create a reselling planner and that's from scratch. So what I now know I need to do is every day, no matter what, the first and foremost, I need to edit one chapter. One chapter. I'm on the eBay book now. I'm on chapter two. I need to get chapter two edited today and then tomorrow. And so get all of them edited updated and then if anything else comes up before November put that in and then they're out in November and then I have to create the reselling planner from scratch so this is I can't let eBay and Etsy distract me from my actual full-time job which are you know is my author business so first and foremost we're going to edit okay. I got my chapter done <sighs> um it was a oh man it was a lot updating eBay's fees and then navigating the um seller hub but I got it done so that's chapter two. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll do chapter three. I can do it. I can do it. I just need to make it a priority. Uh, but now I'm headed to my office because I've got some Etsy stuff to do. Teddy is literally behind me looking through the gate. You can't see him, but he's around the corner. Um, I got some restocks in that I'm going to show you and then I'm going to pull a couple. Okay, orders. so I just restocked the five inch Cat Mom magnet. I advertise this as a car magnet, but you can put it on a fridge too. The pink pop art cat the pop art kittens um the sloth donut oh these are all magnets by the way all magnets there the sunflower magnet the lion magnet the siamese cat magnet and the made in the 80s magnet and then i also got in more of the cat mom three inch vinyl stickers so those are all restocks hi it's okay i just gotta do a few orders okay I just got to do a few things in here and then I'll be back. Good boy. You go sit with Charlie, okay? You go sit with Charlie. <laughs> so the first order is from Kathy in Iowa. Um, and she's a repeat customer. So thank you so much, Kathy. She's getting one of the Pug Halloween stickers, the Holographic Iowa sticker, the a Buckle Up Bitches magnet. Let's see. Two. Yeah, the sticker set of the Lucky Cats. This other Buckle Up Bitches sticker and a pair of the Lucky Cat Magnets. And then got another order from Bridget in New York, one of my best customers. And she is getting one of the Halloween candy jack-o'-lanterns. Now this is a style that will not be restocked. So whatever I have left in magnets and stickers of this is it. Also the Halloween with Halloween pumpkin with the witch hat, that will not be restocked. This is a staple and I actually need to get more magnets of this one, the blue and green um, haunted house, pumpkin spice sticker, one of the holographic spring toy stickers. Let's see, one of the new Halloween pug stickers, as well as the new ghost. Let's see here, scroll the screen up. She got one of these magnets. This is another one that will not be restocked. She got one of the holographic Halloween windows. Again, the magnets are sold out, but I still have stickers of this, but this will not be restocked. So what's there is there. And then the cute little Halloween cat witch. And one more, <laughs> the black cat on the jack-o'-lanterns. So I had my first sale of the Pioneer Woman items. It's this garlic keeper. Now, normally these would be about $60, but I put mine at $39.99. I just didn't like how there was paint wear here. Like the paint didn't go over the glaze, you know? So it's not a scratch, it's manufacturer. There are a couple little manufacturer bubbles. And then this I think is manufacturer too. 
the paint didn't go over the porcelain. I thought at first it was a chip, but it's just the paint didn't go over it. So I priced it lower to move quickly. Um, the buyer paid for ground advantage. Now in this case, grounded, it would have been um, several dollars to upgrade to priority. So they're definitely on the heavier items. Um, the ground advantage is a good option. It definitely looks like the prices are better than they were when you'd be like doing um, ground parcel. So I think the USPS ground advantage is a good thing. So I need a plain cardboard box to ship this in and I will ship the lid separate from the pot, wrap, 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 make sure these aren't touching in the box and make sure that these aren't touching the box itself. Lots of barriers. I always wanna pick up the box, shake the box and not hear or feel anything and that's how I know it's um, packaged well. Teddy's on his blanket pile. <laughs> Both of them love to just be on top of as many blankets as possible. But yet if I put the blankets on the couch, they're like, no, they have to be on the table. Oh, Daddy, you comfy up there? You comfy? Well, I did it again. <laughs> Went to Longhorn, pick up food. Got my spinach dip thing, which is lunch. And then I got this which is the children's burger. And I got a baked potato side. Look at the size of this children's burger. And it's a full baked potato, $7.99. I think the adult burger, if you were to get this, it's twice as much. That's insane. Plus they give you the bread. I mean, come on. Last time I got this, I got their fries. Those things gave, they've made my, my lips break out. It, it, I don't know, salty seasoning stuff. It was not good. But then they've got all the stuff you put on it here. I mean, $7.99, that's two dinners easy for me. And then, like I said, that's lunch, two lunches easy. So, yay, we love Longhorn Steakhouse, don't we, Teddy? Maybe they'll sponsor us, Charlie. What do you think? Say, they don't have anything for me, Mom. They don't have anything for me. <laughs> See, oh, you guys are so cute. Okay. Okay, so it's evening now and I just had two sales. First is this vintage wrapping paper that I put up at auction. Um, I started the auction at $24.99 and it got bid up to $30 with the buyer paying shipping. And then another Pioneer woman item sold. These are like mini cake plates. It comes in the original shipping box, but I'm gonna add more packing materials in there. But nice that it has the foam inserts, but I'm going to package it really well. And these sold for $29.99, um, again, with the buyer paying shipping. I'm doing buyer paying shipping on everything now on eBay just because postage costs are just too high to absorb that anymore. Um, but, you know, if you have a good product and you um, have a good listing and you price fair, then things will sell even if the buyer does then still have to pay shipping. Okay, I had several Etsy orders come in all at once. It's so fun. I just listed a bunch of new products and I restocked some favorites. So people are jumping in. First one is from Tammy in Florida. She got the pop art pug magnet and I just got the magnets in of the little Halloween pug. I just can't take it. Look at his little watery eyes. Oh. Next order is from Sherry in Georgia, another repeat customer. Thank you, Sherry. And she's getting um, the ghost sticker and magnet. So got the magnets in today as well. Next order is from Lisa in South Carolina. And she is getting one of the South Carolina magnets, the pink sewing machine magnet, the Santa magnet, the cheese board magnet, and cat bat. <laughs> cat bat rules. I feel like all the other products, they don't like cat bat. They're like, why does he get all the sales? And he's like, because I'm, I'm the best one. <laughs> Take that, Santa. Next order is from Angelica, one of my very best customers, and she got lots and lots of magnets. The new ones that just came in. So I don't even have to like make a special video to show you guys the new inventory because Angelica got so much of it. Okay, so she got three of these uh, black and white haunted house magnets. Three, let's see, four of these haunted house versions. She got two of the pug Halloween. She got four of the Halloween black cat. She got two of, look at this one. The eyes look like candy corn. I can't, I want a cat. 
so cute. She got three of these green um, Happy Halloween. They're not holographic, but they almost, they kind of look like a neon to them, just the colors. Then she got three of this gingerbread skeleton, so cute. And then she got four of the little ghost magnets. Thank you so much, Angelica. Next order is from Melissa in Pennsylvania, and she left me a nice note on Etsy. Thank you so much, and for your repeat business. She's getting one of the holographic uh, pop art cat stickers. One of the, can't pick it up, sunflower stickers. One of the squirrel magnets one of the spring toy magnets and a brand new design, the atomic cat magnet. How cool is this? I love it. So mid-century modern. Next is an order from Shelly in Illinois, another repeat customer, and pretty sure she's in my sticker group. I think all these orders are coming from my sticker group on Facebook, which is linked below if you wanna join it. It's just, I do polls there, sometimes to vote on new designs and, you know, post there when new products launch, so. That is free to join if you are interested. So she is getting one of the new Skeleton Gingerbread Men magnets, the Black Cat magnet, the Atomic Cat, this, what do we call this? Halloween Pumpkin Jack-O-Lantern with Witch's Hat magnet, <laughs> green uh, Happy Halloween. Oh, I gotta go grab the other one. Getting the green and the red. I couldn't decide, so I got both. Um, let's see, she's also getting the, put my computer up. He's super cute little cat. I can't, I can't, he's so cute. The ghost magnet and the kawaii panda bear sticker, the heart shape. Again, I don't, this might be the first one of those that's sold. I have two different pandas. What's there is there, um, but yeah, they have been selling a little bit now. So he's so cute. I just love the little animals, but I especially love, I mean, I love him, but I can't, look at that, oh. And then finally tonight, I have an order from Kathleen in Massachusetts, another repeat customer. Thank you, Kathleen. She's getting the holographic mid-century modern Christmas tree sticker, the new atomic cat magnet, the new Halloween ghost magnet, the Scandinavian bookcase, as I call it, magnet, and one of the skeleton unicorn holographic stickers.